hello everyone my topic is about classical theories of intelligence theory of jensen so before getting into the theorem let me explain who jensen was arthur robert jensen was an american psychologist and a writer he was a professor of educational psychology at the university of california he was always conscious about the study of the difference of individual in all mental physical and also in all behavioral aspects before getting into the theorem i just want to explain certain things that is about intelligence intelligence is a status at which a person is capable of acquiring knowledge and applying that knowledge and skills in real life for example a person's life consists of applying the acquired knowledge into real life now here theory of intelligence is divided into two that is one factor theories two cognitive theories and i am going to deal with cognitive theories under cognitive theories jensen theory comes so now let's get into the theorem here he says that the function of mind actually depends upon the type and degree of intelligence one has jensen says intelligence consists of two level abilities level 1 ability and level 2 ability level 1 ability is known as associative learning and level 2 ability is known as cognitive learning here level 1 consists of short term memory rote learning attention so i am going to explain this term one by one that is first one is short term memory short term memory is being able to adapt information or is capable of adapting information and if properly rehearsed the information will last long the next is rote learning rote learning is a method of learning by heart or learning without understanding the meaning and the next is attention it is important to be keen about the action we are dealing with so that's all about level 1 ability that is level 1 ability is known as associative learning and it consists of short term memory rote learning and attention next is about level 2 ability level 2 ability is known as cognitive learning which consists of abstract thinking symbolical thought and use of language in problem solving so the first one is abstract thinking abstract thinking is the ability to observe information from our sense and to make connection to the wider world the next is about symbolical thought symbolical thought thinks about objects and events that are not within the immediate environment and the next is use of language in problem solving that is being able to use language while solving problems so that's about level 2 level 2 ability is known as cognitive learning which consists of abstract thinking symbolical thought and use of language in problem solving so according to jensen he says that intelligence is divided into two level of abilities that's level 1 ability and level 2 ability here the level 1 ability is known as associative learning and level 2 ability is known as cognitive learning and level 1 ability consists of short term memory rote learning attention and level 2 ability consists of abstract thinking symbolical thought and use of language in problem solving i have already told you that 
According to Jensen, intelligence is divided into two, level one ability and level two ability. Level one ability is known as associative learning and level two ability is known as cognitive learning. Level one ability consists of short-term memory, rote learning and attention, whereas level two consists of abstract thinking, symbolic thought and use of language in problem solving. Here, according to his theorem, he says that level one ability that is associative learning exists in all people. That is, Level 1 exists in all people, in all races, and in all nations. When it comes to level 2, that is cognitive learning, he says that it is more on white people than other races. So he's trying to say that level 1 exists in all people, but level 2 exists more in white people than other races. Here, white students scored better than other races. According to him, genetic difference in intelligence exists among all the races, nationalities, and social classes. He says that Variance in intelligence is due to genetic difference among the people of different races, nationalities, and social classes. For example, perception of different races to a problem will be different according to Jensen. And in order to prove this, he conducted a test and found that identical twins have identical genetic factor and their IQ are also the same. When it comes to fraternal twins, ordinary siblings have IQ that is of less similar. So according to Jensen, in his test, he found that identical twins have identical genetic factor and their IQ are also same. But when it comes to fraternal twins, that is ordinary siblings, have IQ that is of less similar. In his studies, he found that identical twins produced average correlation of 0.86, whereas ordinary siblings produced of 0.47. From all his tests, he came to believe that genetic factor plays greater role than the environmental factors of one's intelligence. That is, genetic factors mean the knowledge that one gets from hereditary and environmental factors is the knowledge that one gets from the environment. Here, Jensen believes that it is the genetic factor that plays a greater role and intelligence. Some of general criticisms of Jensen theory are his theorem was not complete because he could not prove that level 2 ability are more in white people than in other races. His theorem is based on racism and he is considered as a racist. So, these are some of general criticism of Jensen theory. To sum up Jensen's theory, according to Jensen, intelligence is divided into two, level 1 ability and level 2 ability. Level 1 ability is known as associative learning and level 2 ability is known as cognitive learning. Level 1 ability consists of short-term memory, rote learning, attention and level two consists of abstract thinking, symbolic thought and use of language in problem solving. He says that level one ability that is associative learning exists in all people, in all races and in all nations. Whereas level two that is cognitive learning exists more on white people 
than other races. And in his theorem, he concludes that genetic factors plays a great important role than the environmental factors of one's intelligence. Thank you.